Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So I'm so excited to be doing this video because this is my first video filming in 2022. So I hope you guys had an awesome new year and I hope you guys are also so excited for this year as I am. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a CapCut editing tutorial video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I'm just gonna touch on the basics of CapCut and just show you how the overall app works. So in the near future, I am planning on doing a more in-depth editing video on CapCut, so stay tuned for that on our channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I have downloaded the app, so if we just go into the app, it is 190.6 megabytes if you download it, so it is not a big app, it doesn't take up a lot of storage, so that is always nice and it is a very easy app to learn. So over here we have the home screen for CapCut and there you will see where you can say new project. So if you tap on that, we are going to create a new project and start editing our video. So here you can tap on the clips that you want to have in your video. So let's just select them. So I'm going to select eight clips for this video. So I'm just going to add it. So over here, if you drag through your timeline, here you can see all your clips. So for instance, let's say here I have this where I show the ports of the MacBook Pro and I have another clip of the ports at the end of this timeline. So I want this to appear right after the other ports that I showed. So what you do is you press and hold on that clip and then you drag it to where you want it to be. So I want it to be right after I showed that port. So if you go over there, there you will see the clip is where you want it to appear. So if you want to add more videos to your timeline, so what you do is you press on this plus button right here and here you can add more clips. So I'm going to say, there you can see all of these are imported. So I'm going to import these two as well. So if I add them, they will be at the end of your timeline. So if you have a clip that you want to trim and you want to make it shorter, what you do is you will see at the sides of this clip at the beginning and the end, there is white lines like a border. So you just drag them in or at the end you can drag them in depending on how much you want to trim off that video if you don't want to do that what you can do is you can just split your clip so you put that line where you want to, to split your clip so let's say for instance right there then on the bottom left you will see split so if i press split it will split your clip so then if you want to delete that part the beginning part you can just delete it down here so let's delete that part and split over here as well so then you can see my clip is much shorter so if you've made a mistake and let's say for instance you didn't want to delete that clip you can undo it as well so there is an undo button so over here you can see undo or redo so i can just undo and your clips will reappear so while we are on the clips, so you can also add transitions between your clips. So if you press on these squares between each of the clips, there you can see here is a bunch of options to choose from. So let's say Blanche, there we'll see all the different transitions. This is actually a very cool transition. So let's say I want to add that one. I just press on the correction mark and there you will see it's added. So going back to the transitions, on the bottom you can see here is a line where you can change the duration of your transition. So you can make it longer or shorter. And on the bottom, if you want to apply this transition to all of your clips, you can say just apply to all and it will apply it to all your clips. So if you're done, just press the correction mark and then your transition is added. 
So let's start from the bottom down here. So there we'll see edit. So if you press on that, here you can see here is a bunch of options. I'm not going to go through all of that because that will make this video too long. So let's just look at the basics. So you can speed up your clip. You can speed it up five times or however long you want or you can slow it down so the next one is you can change the volume of your clip if your clip is too loud or you wouldn't want to cancel out the whole audio you can do that as well you can add an animation to your clip so over here you can see and then you can change the duration of that as well so there is an option edit where you can just tap on that and then you can mirror it or rotate it or crop it. So let's look at the crop. So if you go to crop here you can see you can crop your video for how you want it to look like. On the bottom you will see there are presets available as well. So you can just choose some of those presets. So if you don't want to crop your video you can just say reset and it will reset the whole thing. So if you press on the correction mark, there you can see, wait, let me just zoom in a little bit more so you can see. So you can see the black bezels. So I don't want that to be in my video. So you can just zoom in and make it fit your screen. So then there is no more borders. So if you want your video to be in portrait mode, so you just want to add it to your Instagram story or whatever you want to add it, you can say format and then the, there you can see there are these presets. So you can just say 916 and that is the size of your phone. So over here you can see your whole video is in portrait mode. So let's look at adding text to your video. So on the bottom you will see text. So let's put this clip in the beginning and I want to add a text to this clip. So I just say text, add text, then I'm going to say MacBook Pro and then I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be. And here on the bottom you can see all the different types of fonts that there is available so you can just go and download it so if you go to style next to that here are outlines for your font or you can add a background to your text or you can add a shadow so if you want none you just press on that and then you can change the color of your text so if you go to effects here are so many fun effects that you can add to your text. So as you can see, so many. So let's just choose that one for now. So then you can go to bubble and here you can see here are so many fun bubbles that you can add to your text. So just to make it more fun, here you can see, or you can make it a price tag, speech bubble. So you can make it fun and then animation here you can add animation to your text so fade in flicker or whatever you want to add and you can also change the duration of that as well okay so now that we are done with that there you can see there is your text you can also add stickers to your video to make it more fun so on the bottom you will see stickers so if you press on that there you can see a bunch of emojis and here are a bunch of stickers so let's choose this one for now so here you can see the subscribed sticker so if you tap on that you can drag it to where you want it to be so you can duplicate it or you use this one to resize it or rotate it so let's make it like that and on the top here you can add an animation to it so they will see animations so I'm just gonna say right side so let's put it there and then play there it is so they will see your sticker is set to your clip 
So you can add layers of videos and photos to your timeline. So how you do that is if you want to go to a clip that you want to add a layer. So let's say for instance this one. On the bottom you will see overlay. So if you press on that, you say add overlay and there you can add a video or a photo over that clip. So I'm just going to choose that one, say add. So then you can resize it and you pinch to zoom and drag it to the position you want it to appear. So then it will look like this. Okay. So then on the bottom you can also trim that clip as well. There are also a bunch of different effects that you can choose from down here where you can speed that specific clip or choose an animation, remove the background, whatever you want to do with that clip. So to add audio or music to your video, on the bottom of your timeline you will see add audio. So if you press on that, you will see sounds, effects, extracted and voiceover. So on sounds you can go to there is a bunch of different songs that you can choose from. Vlog songs, fresh. So there are a bunch that you can choose from. So if you go back, you go to effects. Here are a bunch of sound effects that you can choose. <laughs> so you can make your video so fun. So if you go to extract it, so what that is, is if you choose a video, it will extract that audio and it will only use the audio of that video. So it won't add the video part. So I think that is a really cool option. So if you just want the video to be in the background, you can just use the sound. So the last option for that is voiceover. So on this app, you can do a quick voiceover. If you have forgotten something or you just want to add it, you can just add your voiceover from here. You can also add effects and filters to your video. So down here you can see effects. So add video effects. So here you can see here are effects that you can choose from just to spice up your video a little bit. So here you can see all these categories of different effects. And then there are body effects as well. There you can see if you want to add that to your video. And next to that is filters. So who doesn't like to add a filter or an overlay over their video? So here you can see all these bunch of options for your video. So on the bottom you will see this line and you can adjust the intensity of that filter. So there you will see there is the filter on the bottom then you can adjust the length of your filter where you want it to stop. So you can also make your video into a canvas. So if you press on that, you can choose the color, let's say blue. And if you pinch and resize your video, then you will see a blue background or blue border. And if you don't want that there, you can just zoom in again. And you can also say apply to all. Then there is a background, so you can also add background to your clip. As you can see, there are festive ones as well. Just some fun ones that you can add. Or you can add a photo as well. Or you can add a photo from your library as well. And you can add a blur background as well. So you can position it there and the background will be blurred. Sometimes it does give a nice effect to blur the background. So if you do have a clip that is a little bit shaky, what you can do is you can stabilize it. So there you will see stabilize and then you can say minimal cropping, recommended or most stable. So then your video can be stabilized. That is a very nice option to have.
There's also an adjust button, so here you can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation or exposure of your video. So if you're not happy with the lighting of your video, you can also adjust that in this app. So if you're done editing your video, what you can do is you can export it now. So if you press on this button up here, and there you can see your video is being exported. So now that it is done exporting, what you do is you say ready to share and you press other and then you say save video. So then your video will be saved to your photos, to your library. So there you will see there is the video that you just did. I really hope this video was helpful and that you have learned something from it. There was a really fun video to make. Please subscribe to our channel, that will really help us so much. And if this video was helpful, give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!